Hey Grace, I'm Diana. I'm our Next Gen Coordinator and today I get to share on one of my favorite subjects. This season in Lent, um, we're talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Mind you, fruit, not fruits of the Spirit, and something that God produces in all of us when we say yes to relationship with Him. But th today I get to talk about one specific aspect of the fruit that I think we miss sometimes. Um, it's kind of funny. If you've seen the movie Inside Out, the Disney movie where it's the personality traits, um, the emotions, sociologists, psychologists, um, everybody agrees that there are at least five basic emotions. Disgust, fear, anger, sadness, and joy. And yet in the church sometimes, we separate joy, and we say that our joy is in Jesus, which is true, from happiness, as if like, we somehow don't have an emotion. We're just supposed to, I don't know, maybe fake it till we make it. I, I'm, I, I've been confused about that my entire life. And I've kind of come, um, really recently actually, to realize that the Bible actually uses the words for joy, happy, and blessed almost interchangeably. In Psalm 1, it talks about blessed is the man who walks in the way of the Lord. It can be used the same way to say happy is the man. And the word actually is almost exactly the same as joy, which is pronounced kara. It's kind of interesting how the Bible makes it clear and we get it confused. And I think what it is, is that we like to think that our, our happiness is based on our circumstances and joy is based on more, which is true. But here's the deal, friends. I think what the Spirit wants to produce in us is something different than what the world experiences. And happiness absolutely is based on circumstances. But you know what's kind of funny? As a mom, I've watched my kids be doing something that they would consider pretty miserable. I have three girls, and there is nothing more precious to me than listening to them belly laugh. You would say that's a sign of being happy. But actually, the thing that makes me laugh the most with them is when they're in a situation that is uncomfortable somewhat. Like, they're all having to do their chores. And all of a sudden, I hear them belly laughing because they have found something to be joyful about in the middle of something that's hard that they don't like. And I think that's where we as believers are challenged in what God wants to develop in us. You see, life is hard. There's no denying that. The older I get, the more I see that. Life is hard, but God is still good. And our joy is based not on our circumstances, but on the fact that we have hope beyond our circumstances. So yes, life is hard and relationships are hard. Cancer diagnosis is hard. Other words could be used. It's yucky, but God is still good. And because God is still good, we have an inner joy that even through our tears and sometimes even our fears and all of the other emotions that we go through, we still have joy. I was actually listening to a podcast from one of my, um, one of my favorite speakers last week, and it was from last fall, Lisa Harper, Back Porch Theology, and she was talking about how is happiness actually the absence of sadness? If you watch Inside Out, you can tell that's not true. But I would also say that as believers, happiness actually, our joy is deeper because of what we found in Jesus and the hope that we have that goes beyond our circumstances right now. So yes, we can still smile. And we might still find ourselves belly laughing right after we've been crying or as we sit with a friend because we know that in spite of what's going on around us, yeah, in spite of it, our God is still good and he's still in control and we have hope. So our joy is in Jesus, but it is an emotion and it's okay for us to claim that and to live in that. So this week, as we're thinking about um, our 
what we're fasting from in our 40 days of Lent. Ask God to cultivate that in you. Let's be a people that are known because we can smile through the hard stuff. Not because it's not hard, but because we know, we know God wins. And we know we're on the right side if we've said yes to a relationship with him. Let's be a people. Let's be a church that shares joy.